When it comes to counting unique users in GA4, Google is very precise. But instead of going through that dry theory up front, let's go to the data-driven website and say, okay, I'm here in the Google Analytics Marketing Hub. For this visit, I'm using Chrome as a browser, but I also open this exact same page in Edge and also in Firefox. Right now, Google Analytics is counting three users on this page. I want you to uh, think of it as this shirt that I changed between these two cuts. So basically, if you didn't know me and saw me on the street wearing the dark blue shirt that I just took off and changed for this light one, you would think that I'm a different person, right? Because you don't know me personally and you see a guy in a dark blue shirt versus light blue shirt. So that's exactly how Google treats me when I visit data-driven news site through Chrome, but then do the same thing via Edge or Firefox. But if I passed on my user ID to Google Analytics 4, then they wouldn't care whether I wear uh, you know, blue shirt, red sweater, or if I was even naked using my phone because they would know my ID and know that it was exactly me who's visiting uh, the website no matter the device and no matter the browser. Now, to better understand that, we are in the GA4 CYA program account of Data Driven U and uh, we're using blended reporting identity and this is how it works. A blended reporting identity first evaluates users via user ID. So if I was logged into my data-driven account in the Chrome browser and in Microsoft Edge and in Firefox, Google Analytics would understand that I'm the same person because whenever I log into my data-driven new account, my user ID would be my unique identifier and GA would understand that I'm the same person even though I use three different browsers. In that case, if I was logged in on my phone, let's say, or on my tablet or on another computer, Google Analytics would understand that I'm the same person and would count me as a unique user, even though I visit through this plethora of browsers and devices. If I'm not logged into my user ID, then uh, Google would uh, go and search for something that's called Google Signals. It says that uh, GA uses information from users who are signed into their Google account and have consented to share this information. Now, this account for GA4 CYA program does not rely on Google signals because we haven't turned them on. But in another GA4 account for DDU, we turned it on and let's look at what are the differences. Right now, we are in the DDU GA4 Google Analytics account. This one is using Google Signals and for this uh, time period, it reports 12,334 users in total. And if we go to the CYA program account, which does not use Google Signals, as I showed you, you see Google Signals are not turned on, it reports 13,594 users, which means that something like 10% of the users have been counted twice because I'm not using Google Signals in this reporting identity. If I wanted to turn on Google Signals, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we need to go to data settings slash data collection, which is here, or I can follow this link, but it will actually prompt me to get started with Google Signals. Now it explains here what are they. If I wanted to continue, I would press this button and activate Google Signals. And then, as you just saw, about 10% of the users, and this is by no means average number. This just happened in this very account. About 10% of the users Google was able to identify as the same person just by using Google Signals, which means that these people were logged into their Google account and then also have consented to share the data publicly with Google Analytics users. If user ID is not present, and Google Signals fail to identify the unique user, the next step would be Client ID. Client ID is a random number followed by a Unix timestamp that gets written into GA cookie of a browser 
that visits any site. So the client ID identifies device browser pair and uh, as long as the user doesn't delete the cookies or doesn't use a safe browser like Brave, it stays written in the browser on the domain cookie for the website they're visiting. So practically when a person visits a website for the first time, this number gets written into their browser cookie and the next time they come back to the same website, GA is able to identify them as a returning user because it sees that the number that they assigned is still there in the browser. In case that uh, the user proactively deletes the cookies or the cookie expires, then this user gets assigned to the new bucket even though they return to the website because the client ID is not there. The fourth and the last method that blended reporting identity is using for identifying unique users is modeling, which is basically Google machine learning that fills the gaps in order to shape the data set and make it look more natural. Now, let's go to the audiences section and try to actually identify a unique user ourselves. This is the practice that I do all the time when I go into an existing GA4 account. So we're going to create a new audience. Let's say it's a custom audience. And let's start with an event of page view. So we want only the sessions that had page views in them. Google is going to nicely uh, report you that there were 53,000 people who generated 79,000 sessions. But we're going to say, okay, only users who visited for the first time, let's say after, for example, 20th of January. Say we had some kind of a big offering on the website at that day, which we didn't, but this is just for the demonstrational purposes. And I also want them to be limited to the people that came for the first time, no later than, let's say, January 24th, for example. So we have the smaller data set. Now you see this 24,000 people turns into 2.2 thousand people who generated just above 3,000 sessions. Now, I want people who actually scrolled on the website more than, let's say, more than twice. So, yeah, we have 15 people who scrolled more than twice in 46 sessions. And let's say I want those who were actually interested in, let's say, about analytics. Now we have how many people? Three people who came first to our website between January 19th and 23rd scrolled more than twice and were interested into analytics. So I want you to go into your audience section of GA4 account and play with these because it's going to help you get a better grasp on what is a unique user in GA4 and how many sessions basically they generate. Now, I hope that this example clarifies understanding who is a unique visitor and who is just using the different browser. And if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you soon in the next topic. Bye.